Hello students, welcome to Read MedPrep Academy channel. Today we are going to discuss about the microbes in the human welfare part 2. In this we are going to talk about the microbes in the industrial products production like the antibiotics, fermented beverages, industrial alcohol, biofuels like biodiesel, organic acids, enzymes and bioactive molecules. Microbes are used to synthesize a number of products valuable to human beings. Products like beverages, antibiotics, organic acids, amino acids, vitamins, biofuels, single cell protein, enzymes, steroids, vaccines, pharmaceutical drugs, etc. are produced in industries. Production on large scale requires growing microbes in a very large vessels called fermenters. A fermenter or a bioreactor is a closed vessel with adequate arrangement for aeration, agitation, temperature, pH control and drain or overflow when to remove the waste biomass of the cultured microorganisms along with their products. We have already discussed in detail regarding the bioreactor in our previous classes. However, to sum up, on the right side you can see the image. It has a reactor tank which has a thermal jacket to prevent the heat from dissipation. It has a medium feeding pump where the medium is fed into the reactor tank and an air vent is there which allows the air to enter into the reactor tank and a submerged aerator is present at the end of the air vent and there is an agitation system which helps in the agitating the fluid that is present inside the reactor tank. It has a system monitoring for pH and temperature with the sensor probes. It has an effluent outlet pipe through which the effluent can be removed. Now let us move on to the antibiotic production. Antibiotics are chemical substances produced by microorganisms which can kill or retard the growth of other disease causing microbes even in lower concentration. Antibiotics means against life. Antibiotics are used to treat diseases such as plague, meningitis, diphtheria, syphilis, leprosy, tuberculosis etc. Cellman Waxman whose portrait is given on the right side discovered streptomycin and was the first to use the antibiotic in 1943. What is antibiosis? Antibiosis is the property of antibiotics to kill the microorganisms. There are two types of antibiotics based on their action. Broad spectrum antibiotics which act against a wide range of disease causing bacteria. Narrow spectrum antibiotics are active against a selected group of bacterial types. Now let us move on to the discovery of penicillin. While working on staphylococci bacteria, Alexander Fleming observed a green mould growing in one of his unwashed culture plates around which the staphylococci could not grow. Here you can see the plate where the penicillin colony is growing and the normal bacterial colony of staphylococcus is present. In between them there is an area of inhibition of bacterial growth that is where the staphylococci did not grow properly. He found that it was due to a chemical produced by the mould and he named it as penicillin which was the first antibiotic discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1926. Penicillin is produced by the fungi Penicillium notatum and Penicillium chrysogenum. It is a bactericidal drug that means it is an antibiotic that kills bacteria in action and inhibits the synthesis of the bacterial cell wall. Here in this image you can see Alexander Fleming in his laboratory doing work on penicillium chrysogenum plates and you can see the structure of the penicillium in the middle and below you can see the staphylococcus aureus. Penicillin is also referred as the queen of drugs and its full potential as an effective antibiotic was established much later by Ernest Chain and Howard Florey when they treated the wounded soldiers in World War II with penicillin. Fleming, Chain and Florey were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1945 for the discovery of penicillin. On the right side below you can see the images of Ernest Boris Chain between 1903 
1906 to 1979 and Sir Howard Walter Flore between 1898 to 1968. Hypersensitivity reaction is a major problem with the use of penicillin resulting in nausea, vomiting, wheezing and ultimately cardiovascular collapse and death. This reaction is an acute allergic type 1 reaction called anaphylaxis. To check the sensitivity reaction, doctors used a needle to prick the forearm of the patient to give a weak dose of penicillin called the intradermal testose. An itchy red region in the forearm is an indication that the patient is allergic to penicillin. This test is important before administration of penicillin to a patient. In the image on the right side, you can see the right forearm of the patient is not showing any reaction. So the patient is sensitive to penicillin. On the right side, you can see the left forearm which shows a red induration. That means the patient is allergic to penicillin and he should not be given the penicillin injection. Tetracycline. Tetracycline is a broad spectrum bacteriostatic antibiotic. Antibiotics that limit the growth of bacteria are called bacteriostatic drug or antibiotic that inhibits the microbial protein synthesis. Chlorotetracycline is the first antibiotic of this group isolated from the cultures of Streptomyces aureofaciens. On the right side you can see the culture media of Streptomyces aureofaciens. Streptomycin is a broad spectrum antibiotic isolated from the actinomyces streptomyces griseus. It is bactericidal against both gram positive and gram negative bacteria, especially against mycobacterium tuberculosis. In the image, you can see the hyphae of streptomyces griseus. Antibiotics such as erythromycin, which is extracted from streptomyces erythraeus. Chloromycetin, which is extracted from Streptomyces venusvile and Streptomyces lavendulae. Griseofulvin, which is extracted from Penicillinium griseofulvum. Neomycin, which is extracted from Streptomyces fradiae. Carnamycin, which is extracted from Streptomyces carnamyceticus. Bacitracin, which is extracted from Bacillus subtilis variety tracy 1, are all isolated as microbial antibiotic products. Antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria develop the ability to defeat the drug designed to kill or inhibit their growth. It is one of the most acute threat to public health. Antibiotic resistance is accelerated by the misuse and overuse of antibiotics as well as poor infection and prevention control. Antibiotics should be used only when prescribed by a certified health professional. When the bacteria become resistant, Antibiotics cannot fight against them and multiply rapidly. Narrow spectrum antibiotics are preferred over broad spectrum antibiotics. They effectively and accurately target the specific pathogenic organisms and are less likely to cause resistance. Superbug is a term used to describe strains of bacteria that are resistant to the majority of the antibiotics commonly used today. Here you can see the antibiotic resistance. Both drug resistant bacteria and non resistant bacteria exist in our body. So, antibiotics kill the non resistant bacteria in our body, creating an ideal environment for the drug resistant bacteria to take over. So, through replication and gene transfer, drug resistant bacteria become more dominant and a newer infection can occur with the resistant bacteria. How the transfer of antibiotic resistance occurs? One is through conjugation, the other is through transduction. Conjugation where the bacteria has the extra chromosomal material called the plasmid and the bacteria which has the drug resistant extra chromosomal plasmid is transferred and acts as a donor and it transfers the plasmid to the recipient through a conjugation tube formed by the pilus. The donor is called the laxosome and the recipient that receives the drug resistant plasmid chromosome is called the transferosome and the old donor transfers the plasmid to the new donor and again this continues in the population. On the right side you can see the transduction method where the bacteriophage which is called the virus that infects the bacteria 
when it infects the bacteria it sends its genome or the genetic material into the bacterium and they multiply rapidly inside the bacteria these bacteria lyses and releases large number of virus particles and these virus particles may have the drug resistant gene from that bacteria and transfers it to the new bacteria by infecting other new bacteria and when they infect the new bacteria they again incorporate their genome which is drug resistant gene into the dna or the rna of the bacteria and this allows the propagation of the bacterium with a recombined genome fermented beverages microbes especially yeast is being used from time immemorial for the production of beverages like wine beer whiskey brandy and rum Wine is among the oldest alcoholic beverages known and is produced by fermentation of fruit juice by yeast. What is zymology? Zymology is an applied science which deals with the biochemical process of fermentation and its practical uses. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, commonly called the brewer's yeast, is used for fermenting malted cereals and fruit juices to produce various alcoholic beverages. In the image on the right side you can see the yeast and the budding yeast of saccharomyces cerevisiae wine and beer are produced without distillation whereas whiskey brandy and rum are obtained by fermentation and distillation the pasteur effect is the inhibiting effect of oxygen on the fermentation process what is oenology oenology is a science and study of wine and wine making wine is made from the fermentation of grape juice Grape juice is fermented by various strains of Saccharomyces cerevisiae into alcohol. On the right side you can see the grapes being prepared for the production of wine. Grape wine is of two types, red wine and white wine. For red wine, black grapes are used including their skins and sometimes the stems are also used. In contrast, white wine is produced only from the juice. of either white or red grapes without their skins and stems here you can see the wine making process where the fresh grapes are harvested the juice is extracted and is put in a fermenter where fermentation occurs and the pressure is applied and the filtration is done and once the product is obtained aging is done to increase the flavor and the taste of the wine and bottling is done and consumption is allowed after beer beer is produced from germinated barley malt grain by saccharomyces carlsbergensis or saccharomyces cerevisiae here you can see the brewing process of beer where the grain silo is taken the milling is done then mashing of the grains is done lottering brewing later they are cooled and allowed for fermentation and conditioning is done then filtration followed by packaging and transport and consumption rum rum is made from the fermented sugar cane or molasses or directly from sugar cane juice by saccharomyces cerevisiae you can see here the how to make rum where it has a boiling chamber where the sugar cane mash or molasses is taken and it is heated and the vapor is passed through the liney arm through a condenser in a water jacket and the condenser allows the condensation of the vapor of rum and it is collected separately it is bottled manufactured and transported and consumed whiskey whiskey is a type of distilled alcoholic beverage made from fermented grain mash by saccharomyces cerevisiae here how the chemistry of whiskey you can see preparation dried barley is taken added and ground husks and debris are removed then mashing water is added to dissolve the sugars and produce the wort then fermenting yeast is added and fermentation turns sugars into alcohol distilling alcohol vaporized and collected repeated to increase purity aging alcohol from distillation is stored in oak casks for several years bottling after maturation the whiskey is bottled and ready for consumption 
alcohol content in various beverages beer contains 3 to 5% of alcohol wine contains 9 to 14% alcohol wine coolers are made of wine mixed with carbonated water and flavorings wine coolers have about 4 to 6% alcohol distilled spirits such as whiskey gin scotch and vodka usually contain 35 to 50% of alcohol padaneer in some parts of south india a traditional drink called padaneer is obtained from fermenting sap of palms and coconut trees a common source is tapping of unopened spadeisies of coconut or palm and it is a refreshing drink which on boiling produces jaggery or palm sugar here in this image you can see the left above the tapping of padaneer from the palm tree below left image you can see the glass of tapped padaneer on the right side image you can see the palm sugar manufacture toddy when padaneer is left undisturbed for few hours it gets fermented to form toddy with the help of naturally occurring yeast to form a beverage that contains 4% alcohol after 24 hours toddy becomes unpalatable and is for the production of vinegar industrial alcohol Saccharum is a cerevisiae is the major producer of ethanol C2H5OH it is used for industrial laboratory and fuel purposes so ethanol is referred to as industrial alcohol substrates for industrial alcohol production bacteria such as zymomonas mobilis and sarsina ventriculi are also involved in ethanol production the principal substrates which are mostly starch containing for the commercial production of industrial alcohol include molasses of sugar cane or corn potatoes and wood waste the process of ethanol production starts by milling a feed stock followed by the addition of dilute of fungal enzyme amylase from aspergillus to break down the starch into fermentable sugars yeast is then added to convert the sugars to ethanol which is then distilled off to obtain ethanol which is up to 96% in concentration here you can see the production of ethanol in the commercial way the corn is taken milling is done saccharification is done fermentation distillation ethanol is obtained and it is transported corn stovers can also be taken they are allowed for milling pre treatment saccharification fermentation distillation ethanol which is 96% is obtained and it is transported biofuels the two most common type of biofuels in use today are ethanol and biodiesel both of them represent the first generation of biofuel technology ethanol is often used as a fuel mainly as a biofuel additive for gasoline Here you can see the equation C6H12O6 which is glucose undergoes fermentation in the presence of yeast produces two molecules of C2H5OH ethanol plus two molecules of carbon dioxide biodiesel biodiesel is a fuel made from vegetable oils fats or greases biodiesel fuel can be used in diesel engines without altering the engine pure biodiesel is non toxic biodegradable and produces lower level of air pollutants than petroleum based diesel fuel here you can see the manufacture of biodiesel where the oil producing crops are taken the oils are extracted from the seeds refining of crude oil is done from them the alcohol is added and transesterification is done and a crude glycerol is obtained by transesterification which is used for food feed cosmetics and pharmaceuticals and this transesterification of the crude oil and alcohol results in the production of biodiesel which is used in the vehicles for transportation this biodiesel which is produced produces less pollution and less carbon dioxide and the carbon dioxide that is produced are again consumed by the plants for photosynthesis what are the advantages and disadvantages of biodiesel advantages better for the air saves on resources you don't use as much fossil fuels different percentages disadvantages making it drives up the price of plants and seeds supplies are often few and far between it's about 1.5 times more expensive and costly 
the national policy on biofuels the government of india approved the national policy on biofuels in december 2009 and identified jatropha kurkas as the most suitable oil seed for biodiesel production pongamia species is also suitable choice for production of biodiesel world biofuel day is observed every year on 10th august to create awareness about the importance of renewable biofuels as an alternative to conventional fossil fuels this day also highlights the various efforts taken by the government in the biofuel sector now let us move on to the production of chemicals enzymes and other bioactive molecules from the microbes microbes are not only used for commercial and industrial production of alcohol but also used for the production of chemicals like organic acids and enzymes Examples of organic acid producers Aspergillus niger for citric acid Acetobacter aciti for acetic acid Rhizopus aureus for fumaric acid Clostridium butyricum for butyric acid and Lactobacillus for lactic acid Bacteria yeast and molds are helpful in the production of large amount of organic acids which can be used as an antimicrobial agent acidifier emulsifier stabilizer test enhancer polymer intermediate and also reagent in pharmaceutical industry yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae and bacteria are used for commercial production of enzymes lipases are used in detergent formulations and are used for removing oily stains from clothes in the laundry bottled juices are clarified by the use of pectinase protease and cellulose rennet can also be used to separate milk into solid cuts for cheese making Streptokinase produced by the bacterium Streptococcus and genetically engineered Streptococci are used as clot buster for the removing clots from the blood vessels of patients who have undergone myocardial infarction. In the image on the right side, you can see the chain of Streptococci. Cyclosporin A. It is an immunosuppressant used in organ transplantation. It is produced from the fungus Trichoderma polysporum. It is also used for its anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal and anti-parasitic properties. In the image you can see the Trichosporum polysporum. It shows green coloration in the culture due to the conidia and the metabolites are extracted from this Trichoderma polysporum which helps in the production of cyclosporin capsules. Statins are produced by the yeast Monascus purpureus have been used to lower blood cholesterol levels. It acts by competitively inhibiting the enzyme responsible for the synthesis of cholesterol. In the image you can see the colonies of Monascus purpureus. Recombinant human insulin has been produced predominantly using E. coli and Saccharomyces cerevisiae for therapeutic use in humans. The insulin gene is taken from the humans. It is cloned in the plasmid of E. coli and the E. coli is grown in the industries in large quantities and the insulin is extracted from these E. coli purification is done is manufactured and bottled so today in microbes in human welfare part 2 we discussed about the microbes in the industrial products production like antibiotics fermented beverages industrial alcohol biofuels like biodiesel organic acids enzymes and bioactive molecules so thank you kindly subscribe like share and comment to channel read med prep academy kindly register for ug and pg neat type mcqs in our website www.readmedprepacademy.com to join read med prep academy kindly whatsapp the number given below our Facebook ID is Read Med Prep Academy. Our email is Read Med Prep Academy at gmail.com. Our Instagram is Read Med Prep Academy. Kindly post your questions in the comment box. We will reply with appropriate answers. Thank you very much.